I got a lot of requests to talk about the fourth dimension, so we're going to get right into this. This is a one-dimensional line. If I want to get to the second dimension, I can actually take two lines and I can connect them at their endpoints. This creates a two-dimensional square. Now to get to the third dimension, I can take two squares and connect them at their endpoints, and this will get me to the third dimension. This is a three-dimensional cube. Notice every time we go up a dimension, we define a new direction. So how do we get to the fourth dimension? Well, following the same logic, we can take two cubes and then we can connect them at their endpoints. But is this the mysterious fourth dimension that we're looking at? And the answer is it's actually not. Because think about this, we did not define a new direction. All we did was take the cubes and draw them side by side and we already defined this direction in the first dimension. If I took the cubes and drew them above and below one another, this vertical axis was defined in the second dimension. Even if I took one of the cubes and shot it into the screen, this direction was defined by the third dimension. So how do we get to the fourth dimension? Well, it turns out we actually can't. Every time we go up a dimension, we define a new direction. So the fourth dimension defines a direction that our minds can't understand. So the best thing we can do is draw two or three dimensional representations of the fourth dimension.